Hi, everyone. Welcome to another round of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I am JB, comfortably in studio, and we head out, and we are joined by Zach Kozart in Cincinnati. Zach, how are you doing? Hey, JB. I'm doing pretty well, thanks. Uh, we're really glad to have you. Uh, MLB Fans app, folks, is the best way to get everything involved. If you're mobile, you can get your device fired up and join us in the show. And you can also just submit a comment, and I'll do my best to read that. If you're online, if you got a laptop, get that webcam fired up. Push the button, get in line, talk to Zach directly. In the meantime, I will interpret your questions as best I can. I go to the MLB Fans app for our first one. Uh, and I love this. This is sort of an inside uh, look at baseball. Baseball Addict wants to know, Zach, how important is it to have a good relationship with your second baseman? Oh, it's big time. Uh, the timing, you know, part of defense is something that you don't hear about a lot. But, uh, you know, that's kind of what in spring training this year, not having Brandon out there uh, was a little weird because I'm so used to playing with him. So, um you know, the timing's a big thing. That's what me and uh, Jose Peraz have been working on, and we're doing well with it. But um, timing's a big part of it for sure. Uh, and there you have it, folks. Just like that, get your question in. Uh, I'll read it, and uh, Zach will answer it. Uh, otherwise, get your device fired up and join us in screen. Be in the big show in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage like this fan. What's your name, sir, and what's your question for Zach? Hi, I'm Tim, and my question is, what is your favorite thing about playing in Cincinnati? Uh, there's a lot of them. I mean, it's all I really know. Um, I've never played for anybody else. Um, but, you know, and when I first, you know, my rookie year and the couple years after, you know, we were playing really well, and um, we won the division, and we clinched, and having the fans out, um, you know, because there's nothing better than when you're winning baseball in Cincinnati. The fans come out, and um, it's just a fun atmosphere, so. Um, you know, I want to get back to that. I think we're off to a good start, but um, yeah, I, th I think that's that's the most the biggest thing I take away from Cincy is you know they're really uh, prideful of the baseball team and want us to do well. A great baseball city is Cincinnati. Uh, Zach Co Zo Cozart taking your questions in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. Uh, I got one from the MLB Fans app, and we'll talk we talk about Cincinnati a little bit. When you're off season, Reds fan wants to know, Zach, what's your favorite thing to do in the off season? Man, I'm uh, I, it's the off season's for relaxing. You know, I we usually take a vacation trip or something, but uh, you know, it's a lot of you know, that first month is recovering from the season. Um, you know, hanging out with the family, seeing the family you haven't seen really all year, um, uh, and uh, just relaxing. I'm 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 a homebody. You know, we're we're gone throughout the whole year, uh, pretty much with the baseball. So when you actually get home, um, it's almost like a vacation in itself for a couple months. Uh, it sounds exactly right, just to chill out in that offseason, get things at long just baseball season. Out, yeah. <laughs> it's six months of a season, uh, and then if you do it right, you go all the way to November. It's a good time. Uh, <laughs> fan joins us again. What's your name, and what's your question for Zach? My name's Eric. My question is, would you rather have a spectacular play in the field or a great night at the plate, Zach? Oh, I'm a, I'm a defense guy. <laughs> um I always say I would rather make a ridiculous play on defense than even hit a home run, honestly. Um, and our uh, our PR director, Rob Butcher, he's always like, anybody can hit a home run, even pitchers hit home runs, but they can't make that throw from the six hole. So uh, that's that's where I'm at. I'm a defense guy all the way. Oh, man, that is uh, well said by Rob. Good man there, too, as well. And the plays are always spectacular to watch as a fan. I, I got to say, home runs, you know, as you said, a pitcher can hit a home run. Make a defensive play, the, <laughs> the thing to watch. Bronson, Bronson Arroyo's got like seven or eight homers. So. That's right. There you have it. Pitchers can hit them. <laughs> <laughs> Another fan joins us wearing a Reds cap, no less. That's outstanding. What's your name? What's your question for Zach? Hey, Zach. Uh, I'm TJ. I was wondering, besides Great American Ballpark, what's your favorite park to play in? Uh, you know, in the division, you really can't beat Wrigley. Um, you know, the atmosphere there now, obviously, that they're, you know, playing pretty well is, is, is pretty fun. Um, you know, my favorite place to play is probably uh, San Francisco. Um, you know, it, it seems like no matter how good or bad that team's doing, they always show up, and it's 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 a good atmosphere. Um, San Fran's fun to play. Uh, two great ballparks, indeed, without a doubt. Fun to watch there. That's Zach Cozart of the Cincinnati Reds taking your questions. The Edward Jones chatting cage. Now time for the EDJ question of the day. We talked about some defense last week, Zach. You compared yourself to a fine wine when discussing your strong start to the season. <laughs> Can you possibly elaborate on that? <laughs> what I was meaning is, 
it was more of my mental uh, approach of the game, you know, just getting smarter. Play, you know, when you're when you play a little longer, you get smarter. You learn things that you didn't know when you um, were younger. And I'm just trying to, you know, put that as part of my game. So um, it, I was meaning when it comes to hitting, um, just being, you know, have a better mental approach, um, having a better idea how they're going to pitch me. Um, and just being more relaxed up there, you know, that's the key. There's stuff that when I was 24, 25 up here, I really didn't think about. I was just, you know, trying to get hits and not worried about anything else. And now it's, um, I take my good at bats and, you know, whatever happens, happens. And, um, you know, that's that's what I meant by that is, you know, I'm, I'm just getting smarter as I get older, um, which I think, you know, most, most players do. That's why experience matters. Well discussed. The fine wine that is Zach Cozart of the Cincinnati Reds <laughs> taking your questions here at the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, and they could be any of them. See, that was the official question. Another young fan joins us. What's your name? What's your question for Zach? My name is Jaden, and Zach, I want to ask you about how it is to get drafted and what is the process and how hard is it to stay focused through the minor leagues until you get to the majors man i mean uh, getting drafted is awesome um it's a it's a it's a weird process just because you you, you kind of meet with a lot of teams and they give you some evaluations and um there's some pressure there for sure um but when you get drafted you go to the minor leagues it's unlike anything you've ever experienced because you're with a whole new group of guys um you're at you're at the lowest level, you know, um, so you just have to work your way up. It's uh, it's it's tougher than what people think. You're not making a lot of money, um, but it's also fun. You know, you learn a lot of things from a lot of your coaches are guys that are probably ex big leaguers, so you learn a lot from them. Um, I learned a lot my first couple of years that I'm still you know are part of my game right now. So um, it's definitely tough, um, but you know. Everybody at that point's talented. It's all about that mental part and, you know, getting past, you know, the struggles um, and just being mentally strong. I think that's the biggest key. A great question from a young fan, Jaden, basically talking about the draft all the way through the minors, getting to the big leagues for Zach Cozart of the Reds. Another fan in the cage. What's your name? What's your question for Zach? I'm Bonin from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And my question is, what would you be doing if you weren't playing baseball? Uh, you know, I was in school and, and a criminal justice major. I'm, uh, I would love, uh, you know, if I wasn't playing baseball, FBI was what I wanted to be in. That was my, uh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, my best friend's a state trooper in Tennessee. And, you know, I, I enjoy, uh, you know, that kind of work. So FBI was what I was shooting for if it wasn't baseball. Uh, does that mean you're the... Uh Rules enforcer in the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the I'm the coach in the clubhouse. That's my nickname in there, coach. You know, make sure everything's doing the right things and uh, keeping the guys keeping the guys under control. <laughs> it fits the bill. I like it. That's outstanding. Uh, Zach Cozart <laughs> taking your questions and my questions as well here in the Edward Jones chatting cage. MLB fans app fired up. Get your device. Join join us in the show. Then I'll just enjoy watching like these fans already have. I'll go back to the app now. <laughs> Uh, I love these. These are the basic ones. Always Cutch22 wants to know, very simply, Zach, who was your baseball idol growing up? I had two. I uh, I grew up in Memphis, so, you know, unfortunately for Reds fans, that's Cardinals country. Um, and, you know, I loved Ozzie Smith. Um, I think that's why I love defense so much because I got to watch him. And, um, you know, I love King Griffey Jr. also. You know, he was, you know, my, my all-time favorite player. So I got to meet him a couple years ago, so that was cool. But – those are my two guys. I wore number one all coming up um, through every, you know, every sport. You know, I can't wear it now because it's retired here in Cincy, but it was because of Ozzy. So, um, you know, those two guys were my guys. Man, that is that is a great pair. <laughs> it's, it's really yeah. yeah. It's it's tough to beat those two. It really is. We get a lot of that question, a lot of those answers, and I can see why you definitely love defense with those two as the guys look up to. Another fan yeah. joins us in the cage. What's your name? What's your question for Zach? Hey, how you doing? My name is Bruno. Uh, uh, how you doing, Zach? And good. How you doing? A quick question. My uh, my two year old son really loves baseball, and I was just wondering how old did you guys or how old were you whenever you uh, first started playing baseball? Uh, I think I started uh, T ball when I was four, probably four or five, um, and then you know kid pitch. I think seven or eight, something like that. 
Um, but I played all sports, you know, when it was baseball season, played baseball, played basketball and basketball season, uh, football, you know, I did everything, soccer. I was just, I just wanted to play in sports. So, um, you know, that's what I did. Um, I loved it, but yeah, you know, baseball started around four or five and, um, you know, obviously, you know, fell in love with it pretty quick. A great answer for a uh, dad looking out for his two-year-old, getting his kid, getting boys fired up. I think <laughs> T-ball's around the corner. It's going to be a stud already, <laughs> two-year-old, yeah. But that is a great answer, and one we always sort of reinforce is that you did play multiple sports growing up. You weren't baseball 24-7, 365. For sure, for sure. All right, well, we got. I know you got a lot of workouts to do. It's a long season. You took time out of your day for the fans. You had fun talking to fans today? I did, I did. It's cool to hear uh, the questions they have, you know, I – you know, like that last one, you know, that's something that I want kids to do is play more than one sport. So just that those kind of questions is what we can relay. That's pretty cool. That is. That's really cool. And we always enjoy the fans time. I know fans get fired up. We appreciate you making this sh whole show work without you. It's just me and Zach talking to each other. And honestly, we can do that anytime. <laughs> that's Zach Cozart. I'm JB. I want to thank you guys. And we'll see you the next time we start teeing up pitches in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage.